How is it going, everybody? I am Donut. As always, this is a Black Lives Matter, all cops are bastards, and trans rights supporting channel. If you're not supporting that shit, get the fuck off this channel. We are reading Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac. I'm sure you've noticed on the channel we've been reading some classic series as of late. Uh, one, just because I've been putting it off for so long, I've been wanting to read a lot of these series for a long time, and it's finally time for me to get around and do it. Also, because a lot of old series are broken up into parts, or acts, or whatever, like this is the North Star, or, you know, the original Devil Man is very short, or Knights of the Zodiac is part one, part two, part three, and stuff, or something similar. Um, and so, like a lot of that, we're going to be, like, doing part one and seeing how interested people are in these reactions. So, if you want to see more Saint Seiya reactions, please leave some comments below. Comments are really the only way that I know people are interested in seeing the series. Likes don't mean anything to me. Views don't mean anything to me. If there's comments, I'll continue. If there's not, I'll assume there's not much interest in this. So if you want to see more reactions, please comment on this reaction. Comment on all the reactions. Please do. Uh, but, Saint Seiya, Knights of the Zodiac. I don't know anything about this at all other than they wear some outfits like this. You know, that's really all I know. I've just seen the visual of them kind of wearing outfits, and I think they also, like, ride horses? <laughs> but, yeah. Don't know anything. Story and arc by Masami Kuramada. Hi everybody, also Donut, coming in here, uh, just wanted to say, this reaction to the first volume is, as I said, to the Viz uh, official release, which is actually the worst version possible. Uh, did not know that at the time, uh, so we are going to actually be reading the fan scans, if they get worse then we'll switch back to the Viz ones. Also, we might be reading the Kazanban uh, version, which is like the, you know, there's normally the, you know, thin Japanese volumes and there's much thicker ones, that's the Kazanban. Um, but yeah, so those might be better, um, I'm not sure, we're going to be checking that out, but uh, yeah, so uh, the reaction to Volume 1 is going to be, I, I wasn't that into it, uh, to the series, and I, as I said, I think a lot of that was because of the art, but it wasn't really the art, it was Viz's, you know, shitty uh, official release from fucking billion years ago. Uh, also, this is, you know, Volume 1 cover from in Japanese or something, I assume, um, but yeah, I have reread the first volume already, uh, just in like the fan scans and like, holy crap, it was much more engaging. Uh, I'm also going to go through it, uh, this will be after the volume one reaction, I'm going to cut in here where I'm going through volume one again, just kind of looking at a lot of the two page spreads to see like what they actually looked like and stuff. Um, so yeah, so yeah, all that is to say, please keep in mind that during the, you know, first bit of this reaction as I'm reacting to volume one. A lot of my, uh, you know, not being that into it is going to be, you know, it's gonna it's gonna get fixed later on in the reaction. It was because of the art, but uh, okay, yeah, continue with the reaction now. And volume one is Knights of Athena. Okay, so like everyone's gonna have a different squad. Like each of the, you know, each of the gods is gonna have a different squad, different group of knights. Okay. In the mythology of the ancient Greeks, the hero Perseus beheaded the Gorgon Medusa from a pool of her blood. The divine horse Pegasus of the beautiful wings was born. I didn't know that part. And Pegasus soared up to the heavens and became a constellation. I mean, I didn't know that shit either. <laughs> but, uh, turns out it's actually real, I suppose. Hmm, okay, interesting. They called this place the land of star herds because all the, you know, stars were herded together. So where a bunch of shooting stars were and... Yeah, sometimes stars fall to Earth. Speaking of... The falling star impacted. And tsh, it's a person. It's a person. Very, like, uh, we've been reading so many series with, like, impeccable 10 out of 10 art that it's like, okay, yeah, now we're finally reading one that feels of the time. <laughs> but I still love the old, old school art style of stuff. Mm, okay, so where is she? So he's lost as well. Mm, didn't mean to come here. Oh, okay. Oh, she's here. Never mind. So is this a, like, villain he's fighting? Yep. Assuming so. <laughs> I immediately think it's a ghost. But yeah, some crazy armor as well. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, so yeah, hurled away farther than expected. So she, like, punched him all the way here. Or threw him. Uh, Marin. 
Return to Sanctuary. Only 99 and more repetitions to go. <laughs> Your instruction is killing me. Oh, because this is just training. This is just training. <laughs> but Cassio is still kill you tomorrow. Hmm. Okay, got the after images going on. <laughs> and then once again, flicked to the moon. <laughs> okay, this is a crazy way to start. <sighs> okay, so that's Cassio's. Damn, he can just punch your head. Clean off. Clean off. Decapitated nine opponents with a punch. <laughs> okay, so yeah. But he's just gonna play around with you. He's not gonna decapitate you. He's gonna take your ears, then your nose, and finally he'll take his head. Then he's just got a pile of heads. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's practice nine nine more times so you have a chance of achieving a draw. <laughs> and yeah, you say you're not gonna lose, but you can't even handle this. <laughs> Hmm. Prove me that you can beat Cassio, so you've never been able to defeat before now. If you can make me believe you, perhaps you can sleep tonight. Okay. Hmm. Okay, cool, cool. I like that sentiment. <laughs> Alright, watch closely. Alright, let's see. Just witness my power! And he, you know, does a big something to the ground that causes it to all... I assume this is something he's doing to the ground? Uh, that's, oh no, what did I do? But yeah, I assume he's hitting the ground and it's making the rocks all fly up and stuff. Hmm. Hmm, I could swear I saw Pegasus behind him. Hmm. Yeah, we well, don't quite see it, but... Yeah, it's like that young man split the ground. Okay. Wish it had been hallucination, but... <laughs> yep, it's a big old crater. Okay, just talking to the priest that we were talking about earlier. And he's just like, yep, straight up, there the Knights of Athena. Yep. <laughs> yeah, extremely lucky tourists got to see it. They're just so chill about this. Oh, I guess they were knights. Okay, tell us more about it. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, I assume that was a the Well, it was, uh, what did he call her? Marin? Marin? Marin. Marin. Uh, but yeah, so, maybe not Athena. Maybe Athena, separate one. She was born in full armor. My god. Didn't know that part. <laughs> but okay, but she did not believe in conquest. She only fought defensive wars. Hmm. Her wars with the brutal and bloodthirsty Ares. The giant Gigas, the great Poseidon, shook the very earth. I don't know the great Gigas. I don't know that one. Hmm. And to mortals, these terrible death struggles between the gods seem to last forever. But on those battlefields, there were always youths who surrounded and protect Athena strong, courageous youths who gathered from the far reaches of the land to protect Athena, who despised weapons. They fought their foes with only their bodies for weapons. Okay. Their fists rend the skies. They split the ground beneath them with their feet. Even now, some believe these warriors of hope appear whenever evil threatens the world. The names of these valiant knights are lost even to the rich mythology of this land. Hmm, for now. Seiya and Cassios. And okay, so Seiya is our main character, I'm guessing. Okay. And, uh, so, <laughs> like, okay, this is like, uh, is this a dual battle? Or is this, uh, Mirren? Uh, but either way, it's like, she's so much bigger than him, but he's so much bigger than his, you know, woman, who is like, uh, god. I don't know what you would call these two. I'm not sure if they are gods or they are something else. And okay, they've each defeated nine warriors in battle. Okay. So the only two remaining. And okay, she become one of Athena's honored knights. And to him shall go. Uh, Pegasus, I assume, or something? Hmm, something I want to say before we begin. There's rumor afoot that Seiya left Sanctuary last night. Okay, to go train. Hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, you were always with him, is it true? Uh, it's, okay, it's true that our, our special training took, site, uh, took place outside Sanctuary, but... But what? Isn't that what they're saying? You left Sanctuary and you're like, Well, yeah, it's true we left Sanctuary, but... But what? <laughs> oh, okay, you tried to flee. Okay, I see. Besides, a Japanese has no right to be a Knight of Athena. Okay. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Who is this? I know no such rule which forbids a Japanese from becoming a knight. That right can only be decided in battle. But okay, so they have, like, is he, a, he can't be an actual human, but they said mortal. Well, no, wait, no, no. They didn't say mortals, they just said, uh, 
yeah, but those on the battlefield, so I don't assume those were mortals, just like I don't think he's immortal. Okay, let the contest begin. To the victor, I shall award this cloth. Okay, so not, yeah. Ah, oh, a cloth! It's a cloth! <laughs> so, okay, yeah, it's an ancient cloth. Hmm. Okay, so it allows them to release great power. Alright, came to Greece when he was little. Uh, hmm. Uh, is this still, you know, just drawing the hair in a different way? But, uh, came to Greece when he was little, so is he immortal then? Huh. Alright, going for the ear first. And okay, he did cut off his, oh no, okay, he cut off his ear. Okay. Not like your dismemberment idea, okay? <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Okay, since an energy you've never sensed before. Hmm. The cloth will be mine. I'll take it home to Japan. Okay. I'm gonna take it home to Japan. Stop cringing, Cassius. I've got a few scores to settle with you, and I'm gonna settle them all here before I go. <laughs> okay. It really felt like a chapter end sort of moment, but no, we're just keep going. <laughs> You're gonna chop off his chin? Jesus Christ. You just hit him in the chin, and then cut it off. And damn, you lost me for six years. But yeah, now you just punched him. This is not a, this is not a, a, a uh, what a dismemberment. Okay, so Marin's also Japanese. So yeah, he's Japanese, you take care of him. So okay, yeah. First training, try and break this boulder. Yeah, it's impossible, but watch me do it. And, and like this seems to be the, is going to be the staple of the series, this sort of look. Then the rocks pelt him. And yeah, you can't leave now. You just leave as a knight or in a casket. So. <laughs> what the hell is she doing? Okay. <laughs> You've been here a year. You know by now that no one will let up until you do a hundred or a thousand crunches. Uh, do you, I guess it been on Sanctuary for a year, not not been hanging here for a year. <laughs> yeah, then die. <laughs> Falls, but she saves him anyway. Okay, so we have, uh, like, there's a Star Guardian for each of the knights, uh, and Seiya's is Pegasus. Uh, so, it's not a thing for all of them, it's just him. Yeah, can't even break the rock. In three years, still can't even do that. Rocks are made of atoms, and our bodies are made of atoms too, and flowers, trees, insects, everything, even the stars, everything in the universe is made of atoms. Destroying a thing is just a matter of separating its atoms. Okay. So, okay, there we go. Right, we're now, okay, now we're back in the, like, yeah, back in the fight. Hmm, okay, so he's going spare your life, but, uh... <laughs> Like, d now do you see why you lost? I don't see how he lost. Like, I see, you know, we've got an explanation for why he's strong, but why did he lose? Right, like, you know, what makes you more powerful than him? But okay, yeah, it, it is not over. He's still going. And yeah, he can do the same thing Say he can do. He has the same amount of power. Hmm. And okay, so you've only acquired the outward destructive strength of a knight. But yeah, you don't have the the defensive, you know, thing with the Athena once. Never even glimpse the universe within your own body. Hmm. So like, yeah, 15 billion years ago, the universe was born from a single mass. Now everything's all different, but everything was a single mass before. Your body too is a mini universe born from the Big Bang. They can split the Earth and smash the stars. The knights can generate superhuman power by causing the many universes within their own bodies to explode! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Make your mini universe explode and your blows through like a shower of meteors. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, that is doing the constellation of Pegasus. They're tracing the locations of Pegasus' 13 stars. <sighs> Alright, Pegasus, Meteor Punches! Alright, did he actually fucking kill him, I think. Alright, we get the cloth. Alright. But yeah, I guess it's just Athena. Like, this is solely an Athena thing. Everything here is about Athena. 
you know, it's not the other gods, it's, it's solely Athena. Yeah, so you use them to defend justice. Mm -hmm. Can't be used for personal battles. Then, okay, goddamn. Yeah, knights from all over will stop you if you try. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, okay, that was like a locked up box that has the cloth in it or something. <laughs> okay, your eyeballs will burst if you look at the cloth without good intentions. Ah, uh, so okay, that is Pandora's box. Got it. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, so you don't get it out now, you only get it out when your life's in danger. So, keep this giant ass box near you at all times. Hmm. So, uh, wait, where do, whether the box holds more evil spirits or hope? Is, is that a question? I don't, what, where is this coming from? I, like, it seems like this should be whether the box holds more evil spirits or hope, only time will tell or all be determined or something, but just whether the box holds more evil spirits or hope. That's not a sentence. That's not a sentence. That means nothing. <laughs> But, okay, what's happening? Uh, wait, wait, okay, they're saying he's planning to take the armor and escape from Sanctuary. Uh, but yeah, he said he wanted to give it to Japan, but... Okay, so Marin's the one saying we're sneaking away. You'd be a corpse in the morning. Took the cloth from Shinna and her cronies, they'll never allow you to take it away from here, okay. Yeah, too late anyway, they're here to fight us. Okay, so okay, if you want to go home, you'll have to get by Shinna. I'm not going to fight this battle for you. Okay. But okay, and then she just turns into a giant snake? Excuse me? She just turns into a big old snake? Or maybe that's just like what the attack felt like? Hmm. Alright, yep, just immediately Pegasus Meteor Punch. Hmm. But okay, can't hurt you. Oh, I can see you meet clearly. I can even count them. 85 per second. <laughs> well, she blocked all my punches? Fool, that shouldn't surprise you. She's throwing more than 90 punches per second. Of course she's blocking you. <laughs> it's only like five more. But it's like, you fool. You imbecile. You dumbass. She can do five more punches than you can. <laughs> to me, you does at least 100 per second. It's not that, but, you know, it's like, you know, oh, you're 100 years or 1,000 years too young for me. But so much less impressive. It's like someone doing that, but like, oh, you're... What, 15 years too young for me? Like, that's nothing. <laughs> that's nearly impossible for a mere mortal. Okay, so he is immortal. <laughs> okay, so she threw him down a fucking cliff. Okay, that's what that was. Yeah, I thought she was just kicking him or something, but she tossed him down a cliff. The box went down there too. Idiot. Okay, that's not that, it's not that big. <laughs> so you just jump right down there. <laughs> mm-hmm. The cloth's meant to protect your body, so it's going to come out right now. Okay, you must find out if the box holds more evil spirits or hope. That sentence makes much more sense. So, okay, Pegasus comes out. Clink! It opens up. Vroom. My god. Big on fire and everything. And yeah, he thinks it's a demon, but no. Okay, that's the cloth? That's the cloth! What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, here is our Pegasus cloth. Man, these two-page spreads are not <laughs> done well. <laughs> like, you know, I, I know they're trying to visit, trying to piece them together their best, but uh, it's old Shin and Jump. It's, like, very hard to piece them together correctly. I mean, to be fair, Fist of the North Star is, they just must not have, the, like, the originals. Uh, because, like, why is the Doom like this? Why why is it like this? How does this happen? This is an English sound effect. What do you, what do you, what? <laughs> Okay, so they are knights as well. Like, these two are also knights. Got it, got it. Mm, okay, if he's truly merged with his cloth. Mm, so, yeah, get it with those zapping powers. It's a, it's a fucking snake, so it zaps. <laughs> but okay, he's got no control over it. Mm. So, okay, yeah, you haven't, like, fully adapted to it yet. Hmm. But okay, in the first moment, so yeah, it, it's it's like a little Pegasus, and then it, you know, it suits itself to you, and yeah, comes apart in pieces. 
<laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. This is how it's supposed to look. And now I'm invincible? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your, your punches could already, or the, your kicks could already split the earth. That d didn't require the cloth. Hm. And yet, even before, I always heard the sky splitting along the path of my fist and arm. So, like, yeah, you could already punch and rend the sky. You could already uh, kick to split the earth. That has nothing to do with wearing the magical cloth. You could already do that. So, okay, so it's got, like, ranged now, you know? It's, like, uh, it's super far away. Yeah, so yeah, it's just fighting will sort of thing. It's not even like becoming adapted to it. It's not like a resonance sort of thing. It is more just like, you, you gotta just have that fiery spirit in you. Like even just the euphoria, just being happy, you know? Okay, so we're doing the classic, oh, I actually have not been going all out because you're a woman. <laughs> of course, yeah, spoken like a true amateur. Okay. But now Shin is, you know, little cronies are coming out here to say, let us do it. Let us do it. You fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. And now he's hot. He's burning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, now that you're all men, I'll just beat the shit out of you. And yeah, just taking them all out with the Pegasus Meteor Punches. Easy peasy. Extremely easy peasy. Mm -hmm. And okay, okay, it's split the mask. So those are masks. I thought that's just how they look. Those are masks. Okay. And of course, yeah, next time I'll fight you seriously. <laughs> okay. Bit disappointing, but. Yeah, we still don't know what he's planning to do with the cloth. But <laughs> show me your face too, huh? <laughs> well, I doubt it. Well, okay, no, she did. Yeah, she did. Okay. Alright, chapter three, the golden cloth. Hmm. Well lady, the seventh cloth just arrived from Finland. Hmm. Of the original one hundred candidates, only ten have successfully become knights, and will be returning to Japan. Huh. Interesting. Lord Nobu's Manor, Tokyo. We're having a press conference about this? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Knights possess an inner universe, a power nucleus, which they burn, releasing awesome destructive power. By crushing atoms, the Knights have acquired the ultimate destructive ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> insane. Yeah, the math on this, uh, they actually have done the math on it. <laughs> okay, okay, so we're saying all this was the night's work. Yeah, so all the big universal reversals in uh, history are attributable to the knights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now the lady's coming out. Princess Sienna, princess, the granddaughter of Lord Nobu of Japan, though Asia's largest foundation, the Grande Foundation. Okay, and princess is crazy. My grandfather loved contests of strength. Okay, so he's gonna, he wants the knights to fight now. Acquired a certain box. Mm -hmm. Insane. All this because his, your, your fucking grandpa likes fights. Man, I, I mean, I know I like some shonen manga, but I would hope I would not do something like this. <laughs> okay, so he took a hundred Japanese orphans, sent them to training compounds around the world to become knights. Jesus. Okay, here's the proof. It's them. We're just going to show them up. Okay. Well, we got the seven boxes, but we're not showing the people. But, uh, okay, so everybody has their own different box. There's the, there's the snake one, so okay, we got hers. How the hell did we get hers? That, uh, like, I assume that's hers. Might be a different snake person, but... <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have an Olympics. Night Olympics. Yep, <laughs> insane. This is fucking nuts. <laughs> what is the reaction to this gonna be? <laughs> And yeah, the whole world want to see it. I guess it would be good tourism, I guess. I feel like we could be using our money for something better, but uh, I guess. <laughs> hmm. 
something they're willing to risk their lives for. The original box? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so those seven boxes all contain bronze cloth. The lowest ranking. The lowest ranking. Hmm. And so each knight has a personal guardian constellation. Only as many knights as there are constellations. 29 in the northern sky, 47 in the southern sky. And the 12 zodiac constellations that lie on the golden path, the ecliptic of the sun between the hemispheres. So those 12 constellations of the 88 are guardians to the 12 youths who represent the highest degree of knighthood. Wait, what? Uh, this is one of the special claws which only those 12 are printed to wear. Okay. Those 12 constellations of the 88 guardians to the 12... Uh, so those 12 constellations of the 88 are the guardians of the 12 youths. Okay, I see, I see, okay. So the zodiacs are the guardians. Right. Yeah, 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 that makes sense, that makes sense, okay. Uh, and then, okay, so yeah, a golden cloth. So that's one of them there. That would be, uh, yeah, the, the... I'm gonna be honest, I don't fucking know shit about the Zodiac. I don't think I could name the 12 Zodiacs. So, this is one of them. I definitely can't name it. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, huh? The Eighth Knight has returned. Yeah, it's our guy. <sighs> Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I said no thanks. Not fighting in your tournament. Okay, so why did you bring this back here? Hmm. You people separated me from my sister in the orphanage. It was just a small child when you shipped me off to Greece against my will. And it's crazy they sent him to Greece and sent everyone else to other places. No wonder that didn't work. And okay, so yeah, you said you'd reunite me. Alright, so that's all it was. Alright, we've heard enough of your whining. What the boxes are speaking? Oh, there's someone in the shadow of the unicorn box. Okay. So, who is this? Jab the unicorn. Looks exactly the same <laughs> as our main character. So, you're the unicorn knight. Oh, it's gonna be so hard. To... These are the same character. These are the same character. <laughs> who are you to demand that you keep her promises? <laughs> What is your deal? Why are you... Why is anybody wanting to do any of this? Yeah, why should we jump through our hoops? Who cares? Okay, okay, so he was just lapdog. I see. So, okay, fucking, like, volunteer to be the pony or something. But, yeah, it refuses to be the horse. Absolutely refuses. But... How are we getting into the lapdog guy? This is just about Saya. But okay, he grabs the whip. And then okay, uh, my lady, I'll be your pony. Yeah, fucking bootlicker. God, this guy. This guy. But yeah, he's just full on simp. Absolute simp. Damn. Still got a tail even after six years. Hmm. Okay, so just saying, up, oh, sister disappeared. Sorry, ain't gonna do shit. Uh, but okay, she like run away or something? Actually, disappeared. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, can't search the whole world of your own. Don't even know if she's alive or dead. So I suppose I'll fight, and then I'll tell you or some shit. Or yeah, go use the you know. If you win the whole thing, we'll use the Global Information Network, which we really don't need. This has got to be so easy to find the sister. It cannot be difficult. I feel like I could find the sister. Okay, what just happened? Our box snapped. Uh, okay, damn, so you just cut him without even moving. <laughs> and okay, he's like, I didn't touch you. I'm just going to slice up all your clothes. <sighs> what is his power? Hmm. Okay, faster than mock speed. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, this this is you know the like oh, I'll have to fight to see his sister again. I I am all for like putting characters in situations that are frustrating, but they have to do it because they have no other choice. I hate putting characters in situations that they're doing just because we got to go along with the plot, even though I don't really like. 
I understand why he's doing it, but this doesn't really feel like an ultimatum situation. It's like, it would, it feels like it'd be very easy to find your sister. There's been a lot of stuff in the series so far that I'm like, I would really like this a lot more if there was a more, like, concrete, you know, ultimatum reason, rather than a lot of it is just kind of like, eh, we're just, you know, because, yeah, Battle of the Century begins, everybody's here, everybody from all across the world, news of this got out so fast. So insanely fast. It's been like a day. <laughs> okay, thank God. Th this alleviates me a little bit better. So he is like trying. He's not just gonna be like, well, I guess I'll fight in the arena. Because yeah, there's so many people you could ask. I mean, the main problem is just asking literally anyone else, a single other person, besides the number one person who would want to lie to you. But, but yeah, I assume not. But still, I'm glad he asked somebody. And yeah, he came here looking for clues and stuff. So, okay. And see, this, okay, that is a so much better reason. So much better. Because, like, why on earth would you trust the princess? But your sister will see you on TV. If she's on earth, she'll see you. And, yeah, it's true. Like, you know, if you get eliminated in the first round, she might not hear about you. Okay. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Much, much, much better reasoning. This better be worth waiting in line for a week without sleep. Buddy, you could have slept. Nobody was stopping you from sleeping. <laughs> okay, god damn. The, the Colosseum of Ancient Rome could also open and close its ceiling? I did not know that. That's insane. I guess the interior of the dome is painted like a star-filled sky. And plasma screens have flown in from somewhere or in are hovering in mid-air. How? Okay. How the fuck? I have never seen one with a, uh, like, A, B, C, D. It's always just been like, you know, one, two, three, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so. Classic bracket style. Okay, cool. Well, we got, like, the, the data on them, like, how fast their punch is or whatever. God damn. The degree of damage. <laughs> and no fouls or illegal blows. Anything goes. Uh, okay, they know that they could lose their lives here today. So, like, because they said, like, uh, we value, you know, human life. So we're going to put a minimal set of rules. But none of these rules have anything to do about keeping them alive. It's just about, like, you know, making it a more, like, uh, you know, so that way people can bet on it. And, like, it's making it more entertainment. It's making it more of, like, a... A capitalistic venture instead of just a tournament uh but yeah so it's it, they're, they're absolutely lying you know they're, they're they're trying to like hype up the audience and stuff by saying like oh no these rules are here for your enjoyment but it's not here for their en i mean it is you know what i'm saying it's but it's for like monetary enjoyment and stuff it's it, it's not really like uh for for safety none of this is for safety <laughs> Also, where does this golden cloth come from? I, I assume Grandpa had to, like, kill the god or something? That's good. Yeah, right, the knight, I mean. But, uh... The founder of this tournament, Princess Sienna. Immediately, I'm doing all this for my grandfather. The moment it happens... Yeah, so, uh, I've been doing this the whole time, actually. It's me, uh, fuck my grandpa. <laughs> He's walking across the fucking Milky Way. This woman. This woman. I hate her so much. <sighs> okay, so this is the Galaxy Tournament. Hmm. Uh, ten meteors flew out of the tip she's holding. Okay, and then doo -doo -doo -doo, they all get balls. Okay. Okay, and all the knights are already here in the Coliseum. All right. Uh, I assume this is Jag, not Seiya. Right, that's Seiya? That's just Seiya. The only way I'll be able to tell them apart is when they're wearing their armor, because he's got on the unicorn one. Uh, but then spider one, no idea. Uh, like a ram or something. I know we saw them, but I already forgot what all the ones we saw were. This one looks the same. <laughs> not sure, not sure. <laughs> so, okay, we got Phoenix, Wolf, Unicorn. Uh, lionette? The hell is a lionette? Uh, Andromeda? Wait, what? Are we, uh, wait, wait, because these are constellations. These are constellations, right? Not just animals. Duh. Uh, and then dragon, bear, Pegasus, 
Hydra and Swan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is Lionette? Okay, so our first matchup is against Bear. Then we'll be going up against Dragon. Uh... And, uh, yeah, Swan and Hydra, uh, they said, they said Swan's not here, but so I assume Swan, when they show up, will win their thing, so it'll be, uh, you know, Pegasus versus Bear, Pegasus versus Dragon, Pegasus versus Swan, and then Pegasus versus, uh, uh, Unicorn. Uh, so then we also have Phoenix and Wolf, Phoenix will win, Unicorn and Lionette, uh, Unicorn will win. And uh, Andromeda just goes up. Uh, so then Andromeda versus Unicorn, Unicorn versus Phoenix, and then yeah, that's that's how I think it'll go. All right, let's get it. Our first battle: Pegasus versus Bear. Ooh, I like that armor a lot, actually. All right, let's see what that universe can do. Let me come here to play. Uh, does something. These sound effects are too big. I gotta say, Viz, way too big. I can't see shit that's going on. <laughs> but yeah, I assume he kicked him or something. But yeah, what are all these guys trained? I assume it would be only Greece, but it seems like they've, you know, become knights in other places besides Sanctuary. Hmm. Goes for a tackle, but uh, that was like a feint. Uh, so, okay, so okay, went for a tackle, but then locked on with the arms. Gotcha. All right, now it shoots up to 1,800 kilograms, or KGW. I'm not sure what the W is there, but yeah, it's like a bear. It's not really a bear hug, a bear choke. You know when bears choke you out? <laughs> but okay, so what? He's just going to start, yeah, wailing on him. But yeah, the leverage ain't with him. It's going to be hard in that sense, but this Pegasus going to come out. <laughs> okay, cutting back again to training time. So yeah, just go for the weak point, say ya. Say, are you listening? Go for his weak point. <laughs> mm -hmm. So okay, yeah, get rid of the arms. And then big snap, but yeah, it's not our neck. It is the armor, <laughs> just with finger force. Shatters it, man, these sound effects are terrible too. It's not even the fact that they're so big, they're also fucking terrible. <laughs> so bad. But okay, now his arms are exposed. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's still standing, so why are we the victor? Huh? Uh, but okay, his so armor shatters, then he falls down. Why did the why did the, the computer know that? How the hell? All right, see, so yeah, I just did the classic, kicked him a hundred times in the span of a second. Okay, so yeah, Swan and Phoenix both have not arrived yet. So, call them, tell them to get their asses over here. <laughs> I actually feel like that we're seeing all of them be like, ah, stupid Geki, he didn't know what he was doing. He completely underestimated him. Like, I don't think I've seen a series where we go through everybody that we're going to fight in the tournament's thoughts going like, by the way, I'm stronger than that guy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they all want it. Oh, okay. So we're we're seeing uh Peg yeah, Pegasus wait, no, Pegasus is us. Uh Phoenix is the one I was thinking of. Uh Phoenix is right there in Swan, so we're not seeing. Okay, okay. Well they we are kind of seeing them a little bit, but not quite. Alright, it's been about one year since my last title, Toko Zaka, which I regret being unfinished. It feels like it's been quite a long time since I finished or since I published a graphic novel. Started creating my current title, Lights of the Zodiac, Saint Seiya to target a mainstream audience from the start. Totally unlike my previous work. So Saint Seiya will become a TV anime in October. Damn, all immediately. Although there are pros and cons for this going mainstream, will definitely light up fireworks for my manga. I mean, yeah, but damn, that was fast. So he did uh, Sukiban Rashi Delinquent Storm, to tell about the troubled life of a teenage girl. First big hit came in 1977 with the popular title, Ring Ni Kakaro. Put it, put it, put it all in the ring. Uh, then he hit it big with Knights of the Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even a video game. Damn. But yeah, gotta say, I'm not as into this one as I have been a lot of the other classic series that we've been starting. Uh, I think it mainly comes down to the art. The art's not hitting it for me. Uh, I think the, the story is, is completely fine, but the art's really not hitting it for me. Uh, even though I do like it, it's, it's the... I think it also has to do with the fact that, like, 
this you know maybe there's an maybe there's a you know scandalated version that's better but uh you know i assume this is the best version of it and it's got giant fucking sound effects that look terrible that are covering so much stuff uh I, I get it. It's very early Viz time. I get it. I get it. But still, rough, rough. Uh, ooh, first printing December two thousand and three. So yeah, very early Viz. Extremely early. Uh, God damn, your Ryan was still there in two thousand three. Or I mean, he, you know, he was not still there, but <laughs> you know, he was there that early. I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I, I like the story, um, but uh, yeah, I'm. I'm curious if the art style will get, I don't want to say better, but just more able to accurately portray the um, the feeling of the hits and stuff like that. Like, that's the main thing. It's a fighting series, and the fighting is, I think, the worst the art is. Uh, when the art is just, like, you know, normal, we're just walking around and stuff, I think is okay. Uh, but, yeah, I think during the fights, it could be a lot better at selling the hits and stuff. Um, but still, if you want me to see, read some more, please leave me some comments, let me know. Uh, I'm definitely interested in continuing more. Uh, but yeah, I've got to be honest, it's probably the one I am least interested in out of the ones we've started so far. But that does not mean I'm not interested in. It just means that, uh, you know, uh, maybe maybe the you know the later arcs will, will hook me a little bit more. Once we see more of the knights and see more of this tournament. This tournament, I definitely, like, regardless, I'm going to read another, you know, we're going to be reading up to part one. I'm not sure how fast. If you want to see the reactions come out faster, definitely comment. Uh, but, yeah, I definitely do want to see the rest of this tournament. I'm, 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 like, I'm at least on board for that, you know. I, I want to see what this tournament's like and what all these knights are like. Big tournament person, so. And if you have any more recommendations for other uh, classic series, Recommend it in the comments below. It, much, 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 much higher chance of me doing it if it is pre-90s. If it is in the 80s or 70s, uh, much higher chance of me doing it. If it's in the 90s, still, uh, you know, a decent chance. If it's past the 90s, probably not. Uh, maybe way later in the future, but like, you know, for the foreseeable future, we're doing some classics. Uh, so pre-90s, still 90s maybe, but pre-90s, almost certainly I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys for the next the next uh, reaction to this, the next uh, classic we do as well. Got some other ones I'm looking at. Um, and yeah, these are not being edited like with the music and everything like that because we're not sure which ones are going to be going forward and also they're long as shit. <laughs> so like Fukumoto reactions, we're not doing music to these. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more, comment, let me know, all that shit. Okay, and now here we are after Volume 1, but we're going to go back through Volume 1. Uh, as I said, with the better scans, the fan scans, uh, looking at some of the pages to see, uh, like, what it looked like and stuff. Because, again, I've already read this, but I want to, like, you know, so many of these two-page spreads look so much better, especially the first uh, Meteor Punch thing he does. Uh, this, yeah, this is my Cosmo. Look look at this. Look at this effect. It looks so much better. That's so good. I would have had so much more to talk about with the art here. I mean, just in general, I could see the art much clearer, much better. Oh yeah, look at that. That is much more gorgeous. I can actually see what the fuck is going on in this giant battle scene. Yeah, d very glad we're switching to these. Very, very glad. Wish I was able to do this from the start. It's kind of sad that I wasn't able to, but it is what it is. God, just in general, all the pages just look so much better. Look at this. It just looks... Yeah, it's... Just, oh, okay, it's going to be a lot more enjoyment in this. Again, it's so... It's so interesting that a lot of enjoyment in the series can be just sucked out entirely with, uh, you know, a shitty release. And, uh, yeah, like, the the way this text goes, you know, I don't even care if I don't get the translation for it. I would rather it be like this than not get the translation for it and it cover up all the art and it look terrible. <laughs> and just the leveling is so much better. So much better. I couldn't even see that this was the outline of the horse, the Pegasus, in this. You know, I saw, like, the, the points here, but I did not even see... There was the horse behind in there. You man. Yeah, this is much, much better. I love the way they're doing these, like, uh, you know, attack names or whatever you would call that. God damn. It's so cool. It's so cool. It's so cool. Oh, so much better. And it also does not help that all the fonts Viz was using was absolutely dog shit as well. Okay, yeah, okay, so here's where the Pegasus comes out. That, yeah, did not look good. You know, I, I, that's really all I could just say is it didn't look good, didn't look good, but... Yeah, this is the one I really wanted to see. Donning the armor and everything. I actually see it much more clearer now. All the, like, uh, the burntness on it as well from the attack. 
Also, I do not think these were translated. I think they just took them all out, and it was just an image of these. But yeah, we actually got like the names for all the constellations next to them as well. Though I gotta say, it would th <laughs> somehow they look even more similar in this. Look at the how is this not the same exact character? How on earth am I gonna tell these two apart? <laughs> Their hair strands go the exact same way. Every one of them. The bangs goes okay. His goes to the right. His goes to the left. I think that's the only one I'm gonna be able to tell them apart. Middle part for uh, for Seiya goes to the right or to the left, I guess. But my right goes to the right. Goes to the left for jab. Okay. This looks like a much better newspaper, you know, opening thing. Much much better. So much better. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I got it. Okay. This is what it was. Or hold on. This is what it was in the Japanese. In English, the sound effect is zang. Because he's kicking the metal. You know, it's the sound of the metal. And they changed it to kaboom. So much bigger. So huge. Because they need to cover all of it. What do you do this? Terrible! That's terrible. Why is there a giant O right there? It doesn't even need to be there. What are you doing? Why is the K so high up there? What are you fucking doing? Even to cover the text. I'm sorry. This is, uh, anyway, anyway, God, that's insane. This was all right an English sound effect. What the fuck? No wonder I couldn't tell what the hell was happening on this page. But okay, so these are the original fan scans. And then these are the Kazanban. So we're definitely going to be using the Kazanban because, yeah, even there, much bigger difference in quality. Uh, I, I didn't have, like, the full volume downloaded for these. So that's why I wasn't going through these to look at the art. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're going to read the Kazanban's ones. So anyway, sorry, what's happening here? Uh, also, like, we're still on volume one here. I'm not sure what Viz was putting out. I guess these are not the original volumes either because these are, how long are these? Well, never mind, I got the individual ch individual chapters. Uh, let me see if I can check on this one. So 285, so a little bit bigger. Yeah, not the Kazan Bonds, but maybe like a Bunko Bond or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, so we're still on volume one now of the Bunko Bond or whatever. But anyway, we're continuing. Uh, yes, yeah, so they changed the Swan to uh, Cygnus, or I, I assume it was originally Cygnus and the Viz changed it to Swan. Uh, Warrior of the Frozen Tundra. Uh, I assume that's this one because that's a unicorn. So. Cygnus gets defeated immediately. <clears throat> oh, okay, no. So the chapter title is Cygnus Warrior of Frozen Tundra. But this was uh, Lionette uh, being taken out that quickly. And the Phoenix still not here. Phoenix Saint still ain't showing up. And okay, and yeah, C C Cygnus was the other one that was not showing up as well, Swan. I've got a chill in the winds of cowardice. I like read it, went over to the next one, and had to go back. That was like a double take. Like, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so Cygnus isn't even Japanese. He's half Russian. Hmm. Okay, so Hyoga is that one is okay. Still in the, the tundra right now in eastern Siberia. Hmm, doing some training right now. <laughs> This feels very like, uh, you know, what Naruto did way later with Sasuke coming in late, like doing the training right up until the very last second. So he blows a whole hole in the ground, then he leaps in there into the frigid cold waters to a sunken ship. <laughs> to a sunken ship in extremely good condition, too. Like its sails are tattered, but this is like a perfect ship. And not a scratch on it. Okay, and then maybe sister or something, uh, dead, and he's giving another flower to her, adds another flower, no, mama, okay. Hmm. Mama Nov Novzgeda? Uh, trying to read Russian vertically, boy, that's, I can read the English vertically pretty well, more than most other reactors it seems like, but <laughs> Russian, Navzegda. I would probably say that better if I could see it more clearly, but, uh, oh, come on, you guys didn't even do the hop 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 there, come on. Okay, a little, little kid out here as well. And you gotta break the ice every day to visit her. Why don't you bring her up? I guess maybe the ice water is, like, you know, uh, keeping her 
you know, pristine or something like it. Like what? You know, it's like it's like being frozen, sort of. But she's not in a block of ice or anything. It is water under there. Damn. And okay, yeah, he can hold his breath for an hour. And even if you were just in the water, not to do with under the water, but with how cold it is, fifteen minutes, yeah, hypothermia, you'd die. Hmm, yeah, a letter came from you. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so he's not going to go to the tournament. Cool, like this guy. Oh, a letter from Greece. Hmm. Okay, so... It's a perpetual glacier. You can't leave unless you have to, like, smash through the glacier to leave. <laughs> and it has melted for thousands of years. No. <laughs> what a, like, video game fucking thing. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, his cloth was inside that. Okay, interesting. Okay, yes, yeah, so I've been insane for a while yet, but I've re yet to receive my cloth. Okay. Okay, it was telling him where the cloth was. Okay, so he didn't know it was in there the whole time. It also had orders to execute Saya, Saya and the other saints who violated Sanctuary's laws. And the other saints who violated Sanctuary's... Shang, why can't I say Sanctuary's laws? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah. Huh. I like Saya, obviously, but... Hmm. Okay, let's go to battle in this cloth of ice. <laughs> dope, 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 dope. I hate ice, but I love this character. <laughs> Tokyo Grad Coliseum, site of the Galaxian Wars. <sighs> and okay, yeah, so normally they would be disqualified, but... Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start Pegasus and Dragon. And yeah, because they're late, they're, you know, Jab's not even getting a chance to, like, recover. He's gonna go right into the next one. Oh, but no, he's here right now. Okay. Dude, shut up real fast. <laughs> yep, okay. Came here to kill you all. He's just being straight up right out the gates immediately. Okay, have him fight at once. Yeah, if you finally got here, get the fuck in the ring. Fight already. Everybody's been waiting. <laughs> I do love this tournament. Being like, alright, we're going back to the normal schedule now. We are reverting to the original schedule. <laughs> Hydra versus Cyd uh, Cygnus. <laughs> This guy, Hydra, I don't, there's, this fucking loser. You don't even have pupils. You're gonna die. <laughs> Bold talk for a cowardly Russian who wouldn't even show up on time. Actually, you're mistaken. It's my mother that was Russian. Okay, so you're still Russian. What? <laughs> I guess he's trying to say I'm not fully Russian, but he didn't, he didn't say that. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Alright, the fangs of the Hydra. <laughs> It's disturbing. It's disturbing. What is he doing? He's just like going, and they're like, oh, it's disturbing. <laughs> but okay, locks his hands together. Shing. The Hydra claws come out. Stabs it into his wrist. Oh, no. Okay, stabs it. Okay, okay, I see. So, yeah, he goes for a slow move. You know, hits it, of course, blocks his, like, you know, it's not that slow. It's the Thundercross split attack thing, where, like, the anime is like, oh my god, it's going so insanely slow, but it's like, I mean, it's going slow, but it's not going in slow motion. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but that's this sort of thing, too, where it's the martial arts move, where he's going like this and everything like that, and he's, the movie's probably like, huh, you know, that's not that fast. It's very choreographed, but, like, you know, and so he goes to block it, as he blocks it, shing, the claws come out, and stab him to the side. And then he can also, like, leave him, like, pull his hand back and leave him off. And yeah, I was gonna say, so, okay. Because he, like, you know, took it back and, like, left him in there, I was guessing, yep, it's a Venom sort of thing. But, takes him out, crushes him. <laughs> yeah, but, hmm. Okay. So, yeah, not, not that. Hmm. Okay, so he's just going to poison him, but, he, like, you know, the, the poison's not going to be the thing to take him down. He is going to still try and take him down in one swipe. <laughs> okay, you, you literally said, it wouldn't do for me to finish off in one... I guess, okay, he means, like, the poison was one blow. But, like, okay, yeah, yeah. So I get what you mean, though. But, like, still, I'm going to poison you, then I'm going to beat the crap out of you over and over again. It's not, like, a... It's not a big flex, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not a huge flex. And yeah, the punches seem like they're not doing anything. 
And like, yeah, if you don't have your fangs, but he only doesn't have the fangs on one fist. Okay, he's got another one. <laughs> okay, my fangs can just regenerate. I mean, yeah, I don't know anything about these cloths, so. I kind of assumed they were like transformers, like they can't do like that sort of stuff, like magical regeneration, but who knows? So, okay, we're getting some Hydra lore. In the marsh of Lerna, near the Greek region of Argos, there lived a fearsome beast with nine heads known as the Hydra. When one of its heads was severed, another head grew in its place. But yeah, I guess that does explain the fangs thing. Yeah, it's the literal Hydra thing. Yeah, the fangs have the same ability. <laughs> Pretty much everything I know about Greek stuff is going to come from Hades. I don't know shit about Greek stuff aside from Hades. So. <laughs> it had like a paw? I didn't know that. The Hydra, I guess, yeah, the Hydra does have like a holy dragon body, too. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, make sure those fangs of yours will never grow back. Just gonna cut off his arm or break his arm or... Oh, okay, turn it to ice. Mm -hmm. Got my icy aura. Shh, now they can't come out. Okay, frozen your arm solid. Won't be able to use it ever again. Jesus. He is going hard on the I'm gonna kill these guys. This does not seem like a, oh, I don't want to have to do this. It's like, no, nope, yeah, I'm happy to kill these guys. <laughs> okay, more came out anyway. I mean, well, it's not from the same arm, I assume, right? It's from a different arm? Hmm. Okay, for, that was from his knees. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, the one, the knee that hit his head, and then, shoom. And you're lucky it didn't go into your face, went into your cloth, once again. But yeah, that's cool, he's got him everywhere. Okay, so even the the fangs in his head are frozen. He's just been freezing the the poison so he can't get to him. Yeah, yeah, the venom's not gonna work because he's been freezing it from the stars. Okay, dope. That's a good cloth. That's a cool ass fucking cloth. So the Cygnus cloth was born from an eternal glacier that hasn't melted since it was formed in the beginning of the fourth great dual dual. <laughs> I gotta zoom in more. Uh, Dula... Dulivial? Dulivial? Epoch? Huh, I don't... Never heard of that. Dulivial. Dulivial. Oh, okay, so yeah, it was the Great Flood. Okay, okay. But yeah, I've never heard of, of uh, Dilu Diluvial. Huh, interesting. New word. But yeah, so it was formed during the, the Fourth Great uh, Flood, the Great Ice Age, one million years ago. That's why those fangs of yours can't pierce it, and why it can't be destroyed, not even with the power of a saint. Okay, and I'm seeing giant snow crystals. Are you hallucinating? <laughs> Figured out the afterlife. <laughs> okay, diamond dust. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I was curious. Like, are they all gonna have like a meteor punch sort of thing? Cause it's a universe thing, but you know, diamond dust. <laughs> okay. Well, it seems like it's just shattering the cloth right now, but uh, Hugo must have even frozen his soul. But did he like? Did he disappear? Because it doesn't, nothing about this seems like he's disappearing, just the cloth. And okay, yeah, just due to his severe injuries, okay. But yeah, you're supposed to kill him. But yeah, now, either we're seated to fight him, or our opponent will be seated to fight him. It's definitely gonna be us, but it gives us a, you know, a little bit of like, okay, yeah, seems like, seems like that guy's pretty fucking strong. Seems like he's pretty fucking strong. Uh, so this is chapter 6.1. Dragon, the strongest gauntlet and shield, part one. Interesting, why did I do that? But yeah, interesting that it's chapter 6.1 and also like a part one chapter. I wonder if they do part one, part twos, if the chapter number also stays the same. Never seen that before. I like the headpiece a lot for Dragon. <laughs> like it. Oh, very sexy. Okay. As well. Hmm, Shunrei. Hmm. And yeah, like, you like, well, I mean, they said the only one that wasn't uh, uh, Japanese, so I was going to say, like, is he Chinese or, like, you know, half and half or something, but no, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, it would be because of the statement from before that there's only one that's not Japanese. All right, finish it at once. I mean, everybody says that in every fight, every tournament, I'll finish this at once, but that's a cool ass dragon. It's interesting that his art style is very simplistic, but he can draw. These, like, crazy, you know, uh, like, sketch-style monsters as well. Okay. Big punch. Poof, the crowd blacks. <laughs> okay. Seems like we're fucking dead. Um, okay. Okay, the old master's very ill. 
what the fuck is going on? Are, are, are we actually, like, that's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> so much. But, uh, is he trying to do punch a fucking waterfall up? In case this is the Wulao Peaks. Uh, uh, okay, so in Pinyin, uh, I'm not sure what language that is. Five old men peaks. What is Pinyin? Oh, okay, so it is Chinese. Okay, so he might be Chinese. I'm not sure why the fuck they said that earlier then. Also, I can delete this. Get out of here. Yep, of course. Yeah, make it the great waterfall of Lushan. Flow backwards with a man's strength. Goes against the rules of nature. There's no way it can be done without superhuman powers. Always a sucker of the punch the waterfall, make it go the other way. But a little translation note. Lushan is a mountain within the northern parts of the Zhangji province within central China, known for its beautiful waterfalls. Previous translations called this mountain Rozan, which is its name converted from Chinese pinyin to Japanese kanji. Gotcha, gotcha. Really appreciate these, uh, glad we're reading the Cosm Bonds, because yeah, it does seem like they're putting a lot of effort into the translation as well. Like, you know, uh, the fact that they're even, like, you know, doing the Chinese translations and stuff like that, and not just translating it into Japanese, and then into English. Okay, damn. Gaze at the great waterfalls of Lushan. Even, uh, Libai? Yeah, Libai's, uh, poetry mentioned Libai, uh, or Rihaku in Japan. Why? I don't need the big ass page. Uh, was a well known, um, yeah, Chinese poet. Okay. Stand underwater, coming 3,000 feet from the sky. That's it, Shiryu! Return the waterfall that flows to the earth back to the sky! He who can do it is worthy of obtaining the dragon cloth! <laughs> I wonder what all this is being said. I tried translating some of that briefly, but a lot of, like, this is like moon, moon, moon. I know that's moon. Uh, but yeah, a lot of, like, moon, 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 or like, you know, the boxing god, and uh, month after month, and keep it up, da da da, -da yeah, stuff like that. Classic, uh, whatever you call that stuff, the, the, the stuff you say to, as you're training. Uh, but, final, ha! And he turns it, reverses it, into a dragon. Purple dragon has become the rising dragon. And Shiryu means purple dragon. Okay. So, alright, yep. And of course, the match is over. But okay, no, he gets back up. That was so much blood. So much blood. Okay, oh, damn. That looks so good. I, I love all these different moves. Like, yeah, I, I don't know why I thought they were all going to be meteor punches just because of the universe inside you and stuff. But, Lushan Shinglongba! And, okay, gotta, oh, I, I'm not sure if I can uh, zoom in any farther to that because it's a two-page spread. It literally means Rising Dragon Lord of Lushan. Uh, the original, in the original release, I transliterated the attack name as uh, Rozan Shuryu Ha which is the pronunciation used within the anime and most official material. However, I since realized that since Shiryu is canonically Chinese character, uh, Karumara intended to leave his attacks to be read in a Chinese pinyin instead of Japanese kanji, similar to how some Fyoga's attack names are in Russian. Fantastic! Thank you, translator. Love you, love you, love you. And again, <laughs> you know, exalting the failings of a transliteration. Very bad to always do a transliteration. These are some cool crowd shots, too. <laughs> and plat, splats on the ground again. Okay, now we can go. No, not yet. He's getting back up again. I love, like, it's so bloody every time. But then you get back up, and it's like a little tiny blood. Just a little bit. Okay, it's your turn. And now this is Volume 1, Bunkuban. And, and we got the Pegasus and the Dragon. Hmm. Our last little bit. Oh, oh, fuck yeah! Holy shit, we're gonna get you like this. Oh, please get this for like every one of them. I would be so happy. Pegasus, the winged horse of Greek mythos, fathered by Poseidon. He would uh, aid Perseus and mm, something. Bella, Bella uh, Say it literally means arrow of the stars in Japanese. God, I wish I could zoom in more. Right, I do. I don't have a keyboard shortcut for it, but uh, let's do 150. See if that helps me. Boy, might need to go more than that, but we'll, we'll try this. So, uh, 
uh, one, two, three, four, but then there's also one, two here. Uh, where do we start here? Let's just start up here, top right corner. So push the mount up and backwards, separate the neck into two parts. Uh, so yeah, you separate this piece here, which goes on the head there. Uh, what's the other part? Separate the neck into two parts. Uh, oh wait, this part as well? Rotate the separated neck pieces until they are 180 degrees apart, and then you, you rotate this as well. Rotate the emblem. I'm not sure what they mean by oh, oh this one you wrote no because that's that one there. So I'm not sure what rotate the emblem means. The knuckle portion extends out. Okay, yeah, extends out. This is so fascinating. Uh, so open up all the parts completely. Turn upside down and connect with the belt. Okay. Where is this part coming from? Uh, that's this part here? And it comes apart like that and that? I think so, yeah. And so, okay, I see how you... Okay. A little bit confusing. I would, I would want to see this in, like, the anime or something. I'm not sure what order this is supposed to be in. And, okay, so the hoof then becomes the knee pad. Oh, my God. And uh, this is the belt. Okay, that becomes the belt. So, okay, yeah, the, the arrows are going all over the place. Oh, no, these are the knee pads. Uh, and then, okay, that's like the hoof part there. I see, I see. Whoo! I like this, but boy, a bit, a bit confusing here. A bit confusing. <laughs> and okay, we're getting it with everybody. God damn, yes, this is exactly what I wanted, though. Uh, so yeah, based on the constellation of Draco, who is a dragon killed by Minerva, goddess of the hunt, and tossed into the sky. Uh, so, we start with the mask, we're going to assume. We start with the mask, spread open the dragon horns. See, it looks so different here than it does there. Uh, spread open the dragon horns portion to either side, raise the whiskered, the, the whiskered snout portion upwards and inwards. Okay, so you put it back into itself, kind of. Uh, so, okay, we'll just spread, huh, spread the open dragon horns to either side, oh wait, so like you're pulling them down, I think, I think, yeah, you're pulling the big ones down as well, along with the whiskers, hmm, and then you split the neck into three parts and rotate it, uh, what do you mean you split into three parts? Where's the other parts going? I'm not sure what's going on with this. What do you mean you split it into three parts? Where are the other parts going? <laughs> where are all these parts going? Uh, okay, where's five? Oh, this one's just still in fucking Japanese. What, the claws? Ro okay, so then for the chest, the claws rotate to the back and grab one of the shoulder pads from behind. So they like, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, the chest piece. Uh, this part is hidden by other parts, such as the shoulder part, and is not visible from the outside. Uh, and then they, it all splits apart into those chunks that go all over there. I can't imagine the brain required to put together transformer shit like this. Uh, the be oh, wait, no, that's the belt. Oh, wait, so yeah, no, yeah, this piece goes up here. That piece is the belt. Yeah, I thought this was saying that, like this goes there, but no, that's just it looks kind of similar. Uh, this looks nothing like the belt, though. This looks absolutely nothing like the belt. I don't... Or maybe this is supposed to go under that? Like, it's just saying this belt just straight up goes there. This goes like this and like this there, maybe. Then the right arm is the chest as well. Uh, in case so then it pops out. And, okay, and then the shield is one of the shoulder pieces I think it's these I would assume and then what the hell is this where's that coming from uh, this is do, 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 that piece right there okay okay got it damn <laughs> and uh, the, oh yeah, yeah the knee, that is just saying the knee okay this one I understood more than say is uh, but okay those are the only two we're getting this volume but okay yeah definitely understood his more than say is I don't quite understand say is exactly but I would need to see this like in the anime or something, for sure, for sure.
Okay, what is our <laughs> scandalation page here? Oh, it's always like... Well, first of all, through God, all things are possible, so jot that down. <laughs> oh, that, this is the spirit of all martial arts manga. Just Mac. Mac is every single character in any fucking martial arts series ever. Well, first of all, through God, all things are possible, so jot that down. Also, I said we finished volume two of the Bunko Bonds, but I guess that was volume two of the Cousin Bonds that we finished. Now we're in volume two of the Cousin Bonds, if anybody cares. Also, I see that we're using, like, the Russian ones or something. Is that... What? No, wait. That's not even Russian, right? What is that? I actually don't know what language that is. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're, we're using a, a different version of it. It's probably the only roles that could get. Uh, and... Okay, he's like bare chested under that? I don't think I realized they were all bare chested and stuff. <laughs> oh, cool! It comes with the uh, the Shonen Jump pages. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That is dope. Glad the Cosmo Bond is, is including all that stuff. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, so immediately into his attack. Take the Shudu! The Pegasus! Pegasus Ryusei Ken! Pegasus Meteor Fist! Baku! Hmm. Okay, so yeah, then he uses his shield. Do, 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 do. Block all 100. But okay, he's trying another one. Just another one. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, yeah. Okay, so the shield is like fucking Captain America's shield. It's perfect, you can block anything. Trained to be a saint in China's Lushan Mountains, Wulao Peaks. This mountain is famous for its legend of godlike dragons. Ooh. It's just carved into the fucking mountain. No, I'm not even gonna bother with that one. Legend well, says the waterfalls here came into existence when pieces of stars fell from the nine heavens. The dragon cloth used to respite uh, used to rest beneath the great waterfall. It's a dragon incarnate, hammered from the water of the Milky Way for ages. It's brighter and harder than any diamond out there. And these are all the bronze suits, too. <laughs> okay, he's not doing a signature punch, though. He's just going in with a normal punch. Oh, but no. Okay, even just normal punch can shatter our cloth. Sends us flying. Oh, so bloody. So bloody. Okay, yeah, the invincible spear, the invincible shield. God damn. God damn. Yeah, the strongest gauntlet, the strongest shield. Okay. Reminds me of a story Marin once told me about spears and shields. The story originated from ancient China long ago. Man sold both spears and shields. His spears were so sharp they could pierce any shields, and his shields were so durable, no shield, or no spear could get past them, it should be. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you use his own spear against his own shield. Yeah, and it also destroys him. But it's not just that the spear is going to get through, because they're both equal, so they're both going to shatter. But how do we do this? How do we do this? Okay, and then just... But okay, yeah, they were shattered. But how? But how? And yeah, okay, say his headpiece. Okay. What just happened? That's the end of the chapter. Gotta go back, see what happened. Also, this was a shorter chapter than normal, so maybe that's why it was a, you know, point one, point two. Okay, fight to the death. Pegasus versus Dragon. And what? What the hell is the scoreboard showing? Show us something. It's not showing shit. Okay, these are gonna replay the clash, okay. <laughs> okay, classic. Gotta slow it down. So, okay, yeah, so he tried to get his head in there to, like, headbutt the inside of the shield, uh, which, you know, he'd be like, oh, I could easily block that. He tries to go to block it, moves his head. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, so, like, he does hit his head, but then it goes through his head as well. So, okay, after, so he punches his head, that, but that breaks the shield, right? Or no, I guess it just broke our headpiece. Okay, so this is not the shield breaking, this is just our head breaking. Uh, then he ducks, manages to, yeah, destroy his shield. Yep, shatter them both. Hell yeah. Taking him down. 
<laughs> yeah, no, so say his ploy gets the credit. Don't give him the credit. Don't give fucking uh, Dragon the credit. And say it took the strongest spear to the head. But, okay, yeah. Yeah, say it might just die. And, okay, so the headpiece protected him. Okay, okay. And he's like, no, okay, the battle's gonna still go on. He's gonna get up again. He's not gonna just lay there. God damn. God damn, yeah. All three of his girls. God, with blood pouring out of his cracked ass skull, he gets back up. Gets back up. No, I mean, this is supposed to be a fight to the death. You had one man who came in here saying, I'm going to kill all of you. <laughs> and without my gauntlet and shield, my cloth is just as useless as a paperweight. I don't feel like that's true at all, but okay. So, yeah, yeah I'm not going to take advantage. So now we're even. We're just going to beat each other to death. Oh, okay, never mind. So they, the saints do have superhuman strength. It's not the cloth that gives them the superhuman strength. Uh, well, yeah, I guess we yeah we did know that. We, of course, we already knew that. It was just that it boosts their skills and stuff, as well as the armor. But yeah, neither of them seem to be doing this for yeah. The, I mean, not of course you know say but he's not doing it for fame or the gold cloth either. Just doing it to test his skills. Just just a classic Ryu style warrior. I mean, it's very fitting because he has the dragon as well. So yeah, he's very Ryu style warrior. Dove, dove, nice dragon tattoo. And okay, it, it appeared in his back. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's what was happening. It was just appearing. Okay, goddamn. It was like the Pegasus behind him, his appears in his back. Okay. But of course, Saiya's gonna be the one to take this. It's gonna be done one superpowered blow to a normal body. Okay, first move. Doing the meteor punches immediately. And okay, he's like backing up or something. I like, got behind him. Okay. Oh, he dodged him. Damn. Okay. So, yeah, you may throw 100 pun punches per second, but only a few of them surpass Mach 1. The others are slower. Yeah, you're not putting your all into every punch. Hmm. And, yeah, his move is even the Rising Dragon Lord, which isn't the, uh, uh, that, the, the Rising Dragon, right? What, what is that called? Shuriuken? Yeah, Shuriuken. But... He's actually coughing up blood. So we did actually hit him? Oh, did I not see one of his fists? And now we'll use it again. He's going to try and dodge it again. And he's going to think that he dodged them all. But nope. Two we got him this time. Hmm. Yeah, there was just a few that you couldn't see. Some were slower, but some were even faster. Hmm, okay. Each time he uses it, increases bit by bit. Hmm, god damn, okay. Yeah, face the attack once and he already knows its fatal flaw. There is an opening. Okay, so his heart. I see, that's where exactly where the dragon's hand is as well. It's his heart. When you're uh, preparing for the rising dragon lord in order to use your full power, your left fist automatically drops for a moment. Only one tenth, no, one one thousandth of a second. But in that moment, your heart is exposed. Hmm. Okay, it's gonna happen the final blow gonna do it who's gonna be first okay yep he's going for it and we see we know exactly the right hand of the dragon <laughs> one exact strike in that all that blows as a deflection rips through the ropes god damn knocked out of the ring <laughs> bam right into the wall too oh fell right on his head Yikes. <sighs> okay, we're gonna need some big rest after this one. We're gonna need a lot of fucking rest. Yeah, our head is cracked like a fucking watermelon. Yeah, get us in surgery. <laughs> Please. <sighs> and okay, so how's Dragon doing? Is Dragon even alive? His heart's not beating. He is dead. He is dead. It was a fight to the death. Okay, you're the only one who can save him. The only way to restart a saint's heart is to shock them with the same force on the opposite side where they were wounded. Okay. Okay. So you gotta get back up and deliver another force like that. 
Yep, yep. No condition, but he's gonna do it. Okay. Okay, goddamn. Can I help? Hold him up. Aim carefully. Now the dragon's fading. I hopefully you don't need to see exactly where the claw is. You should be able to just know. Oh, someone here to help us? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't punch through his heart. Oh, God. He passed out. He passed out. Fuck. Oh, no. It's fading away. Okay, okay, okay. He's back up. He's back up. He's not the correct distance, but it's only one meteor. <laughs> Damn, slam her to the wall, too. <sighs> okay, okay. Been revived. We fucking did it. Holy shit, what an insane sequence of events. <sighs> and Gigi is his name. Hmm. Okay. So then, yeah, you get to return to Japan with orders and sanctuary to kill all of you for breaking the rules of sainthood by battling for personal gain. Okay. But were those battles really the ones that, uh, that Athena prohibits? Why did Seiya ensure you fight so desperately? Mm, yeah, like, these do seem like some pretty, you know, pretty Greek-ass battles. Chapter 8, Axia. No idea what that is. Hmm, day 5 of the Galaxian Wars. I mean, Axia might be somebody's name. Up against Andromeda Shun is Unicorn Jabu. Oh, sorry, okay, we're going with Jabu. Uh, not Jab. And of course, yeah, Andromeda is the androgynous one, of course, the one that everybody's like, I can't even believe they're a man. Hmm. He should have become an actor. <laughs> I don't think, you know, he asked to become a saint. None of you guys asked to become a saint. Okay, only here because I hope to see my big brother again. Everybody's got these family connections. But I feel like Jab will, you know, Jabu will be the one to actually defeat him. But okay, chained and everything. Uh, that is the Andromeda's thing, like chains and stuff. Hmm. Chain made a pattern on the ground. Okay, so it's like a spider web around. Okay, looks like the Andromeda Nebula. Andromeda Nebula. Uh, but okay, so we got like a spider web going on. <laughs> Okay, immediately charges forward. Shing! Yeah, gonna get you. Whoa, okay. Just tripped. Okay, they came after me as if I was alive. Hmm. Okay, holding back. I assumed Jab was gonna get through this, but maybe. No, he's got. He's still going to. He's got to. Chains whip his armor off. Or pieces of it, anyway. Okay, back at the hospital, we're reading some Shonen Jump. <laughs> okay, nice. Hey, guys. I'm glad we're making some friends. This is really nice. We don't really have friends outside of the people who are still just orphans in the orphanage. Or I guess it's really just the one girl there. Hmm, okay. Felt an unusual cosmos. Everybody's watching our move. Hmm. Okay. So the tenth sate is already inside the Colosseum. Phoenix. I believe Andromeda's chains hold the key to this mystery. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What is up with Pegasus? Hmm. And okay, Jabu's admitting, like, you know, I shouldn't have been this cocky. <laughs> Should not have been this cocky. Hmm. Oh, it's like a steel Andromeda Nebula. Okay, the one spot that's unprotected, yeah, directly above you, you'd think. They're strongest against attacks from above. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these chains are, like, alive. He's not even, like, whipping them around. They're just alive. Okay. One point. God, the, the, the fucking armor. But it's the, this is the Pegasus armor. No, no, this is the gold cloth. Right, right, yeah, yeah, this is the gold cloth. But the chains are moving. Okay. Be some kind of... Okay. Could this be some kind of omen? Axia. Or Axia. Axia. Oh, I love that font. Axia. Mm. Oh. Okay, got the chains. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, and just like, oh, I, I, you know, we shouldn't be fighting right now, something's happening, but that's gonna be the distraction. <gasps> Let go of them, they'll tear your arms clean off! Oh my god. Did that actually happen? <laughs> so, okay, so whenever Andromeda's chains sense an enemy's cosmos, they immediately form a steel wall. If the, if the tenth saint is in the Colosseum, Andromeda's chains will be the first to know. Okay, so the Tenth Saint really is Phoenix. He'll be a threat to us all. Even more so than the one who's trying to kill you all? Hmm, no one could be Phoenix but him. The man who was supposed to be dead. Classic Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, he became Phoenix and returned from hell. You're just inserting hell in there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's not just the Saints that are in danger, but he'll slaughter everybody he knew. Mm, there's electricity flowing through the chains. Okay, yeah, it is. It's just straight up electricity. Okay, so the chains are ignoring Jabu and are forming a nebula in the other direction. Yep, trying to protect against the much more powerful force. Mm, yeah, it's crazy that, like he's an enemy to all nine of us. Like, I get that he's an enemy to everybody here, but like you already have an enemy to all nine of you. It's the Tundra one. Mm, in that direction is only what? Only what? Axia is Greek for something. Precious. Something of value. The valuable object that lies within this direction is none other than the golden cloth. He's gonna come and try and just take the golden cloth. Lightning strikes. And it's opening. Okay. He was inside it. Someone's inside the gold cloth box. It's Phoenix! He's in the gold cloth box! Has he been in there? The, he couldn't have been in there the entire time. Had to, like, snuck in there. Oh, that's the end of this, this chapter. Okay. Okay. Oh, good chapter. I'll just axia and do what all that meant. Okay. Damn. Looks cool. Phoenix, the warrior from hell. Resurrected. And he's got the Phoenix tail thing going on. Okay, it's almost as if he feels nothing but hate. Okay, he's got the fucking Char look on. Okay, oh my god. You're just straight up Char. This is just Char. <laughs> and okay, Phoenix is icky. Okay, but yeah, didn't know. What? And just wraps around. Okay, all the way up there. And icky is your brother? Like, you know, said I was only in this tournament to find my brother or something like that. Like, something about that, but yeah. Is your brother indeed? Which again feels like we're doing the 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 char thing with the sister. <laughs> but what the fuck is that? Hellblaze or something? <laughs> and okay, just punch from that far away. Hmm. This look, I can't. It just looks like char. <laughs> hmm. But okay, so it turned into a demon in hell. Is it really your face behind that mask? I wonder. Maybe not. Damn, he got extremely lucky. So Shiryu randomly drew a lottery that brought him to Ulao Peaks in China. God damn. I assume same with the Russian one. Like, just coincidentally, he just, you know, happened to get the Russian one. And okay, Shun was next. Death Queen Island. <laughs> hmm, crybaby Shun's going there. Okay, it's like hell itself. The island is in the heart of the Pacific Ocean, just south of the equator. The sun there will burn your feet, and the rain of lava will tear away your skin. Many saints were sent there to train, but none lived to tell the tale. Then stop doing it. Okay, a few of them did return, but they were never quite the same. Okay, well, allow me to take his place. Yeah, Iki. Okay. And yeah, just like, who gives a shit? Why are we doing this? This is a random lottery. It doesn't fucking matter. All you guys want is the cloth. But yeah, definitely not the same man. Definitely not. Mmm, okay, big scar. Still crying like a baby, huh? Maybe. Still is the same person underneath the mask. But yeah, definitely something else has changed here. Or maybe it is just the training has warped his mind. Damn, that's beautiful. Holy fuck. God damn. This artist is really flexing. Like, yeah, you want to see what I can do? I'm just choosing not to. The style is perfect for my series. But I can do this. But I can do this. Like, I really appreciate when Fukumoto does that kind of stuff, too. Like, I, you know, it's not that I can only draw on the style. It's that I choose to draw on the style. 
kick to the face. Oh, once again, so much blood. And then it instantly disappears. <sighs> no blood on the ground at all. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're in the middle of a goddamn fight, bitch. But Iki might interfere with our fight and take out Jabu somehow. Okay, shit. Thought he dodged, but nope. Got him anyway. The shoulder every time. Well, I guess no, he kicked his sister, his uh, brother in the face. And once again, pfft, so much blood. But okay. Okay, everybody's gonna... <laughs> you seem to be confused. Your opponent is neither Shu nor Jabu. It's me! <laughs> Not right down the middle of another prison's fight. I don't think you all went through hell on Earth. Some of you, I mean, quite a lot of you, but like... You know, compared to whatever he went through. Alright, show you what else really like. Holy fucking Christ! Okay, okay. Tore his fucking arm off. First, and leg too. He's just gonna get fully... Jesus! And yeah, cloth didn't protect me one bit. Holy shit. He was fully... What do you call that when you were... Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, it's gonna be this kind of series too? Holy fuck! Cut off all your limbs, then just blew apart all your insides, leaving with just, like, your thighs and upper chest? Holy fuck, you can see each of the organs. That feels like it might be a little bit too many organs. <laughs> no, 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 it's just pieces. <laughs> For a second, I was like, that would be too many organs. And the head as well. But, what the fuck is that look? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, so that was just a fucking, like, you know, that's what I could have done to you. You tore his soul to pieces. That was happening to his soul. And now he's just basically dead. Holy fuck, that was insanely cool. That was so cool. Insanely. <sighs> yeah, how does this tournament go now? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Uh, uh, wait, there's no need for you to get your hands dirty, Ikisama. We shall take care of these weaklings. So, okay, you've got some fucking, like, who are they? Uh, th there are five Phoenix Saints? What? Okay. Yeah, I was expecting, like, mooks, but, like, okay, five of the same person? Huh. But, yeah, th those are black, though. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Do they have... Is that, no, is it like hat, like black and white, or, I can't tell, or is that just shadow? Hmm. Okay. Black Phoenix, that does not sound like, it sounds like you're just saying the guy, but they're black. Ooh. The stolen gold cloth. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. Can the gold cloth, like, make you, you know, clone yourself, basically? Or maybe it's different depending on each one? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, who the hell told you to do this? Okay, so I thought he would be on board for this, but... Hmm. Okay, so we already got the gold cloth, so let's just go. Let's get out of here. Okay. Hmm, yeah, you must have sold your soul to the devil. <laughs> so yeah, that definitely affected him. So that's gotta be true. Soul to soul to the devil, whatever that means. Working with somebody else. And they were calling him Sama as well, so. Oh, my brother sold his soul to the devil to the Black Saints. Okay. The Black Saints. It said they use the powers as saints. Or they use, Yeah, they use the power as saints, which only should be used for justice, to satisfy their own personal gains. They travel the world in an endless pilgrimage, leaving only death and destruction in their wake. The goddess Athena turned her back on them. They then sold their souls to the devil himself to be clad in dark cloths to become black saints. So it seems like he's working with the devil. But he didn't sell his soul to the devil to get the black, you know, cloths. He is just, you know, selling his soul to the devil and, like, I'll work with your army to help steal a gold cloth. Hmm? The gold cloth is still on top of the platform. Yeah, but then it falls off. And it's going to be empty. Yep. Ding. It's empty. Okay. Tournament over, I guess. Welp. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, we have Seiya, Shiryu, and Shun here who are all badly injured. Hyoga's fine. Sig Cygnus is fine. But mm, it's snowing, so okay, yeah, he's gonna be the first one you gotta fight. Okay. Cla Man, we're in the 80s and we're already getting the tournaments, you know, <laughs> interrupted by the villains. We have to stop. <laughs> okay, why is he so freaking out about these snowflakes? Or just they're okay, they're like perfect. Indeed, even in the Eastern Siberia, or not even in, but indeed, in the Eastern Siberian Sea where I was trained, in the Arctic Polar Circles, the snow fell from the sky just like perfectly chiseled diamonds. The sparkling snow piled up, forming an immense mound of extraordinarily beautiful gems. But that same beauty represents certain death for any living being. That's why the people of the Arctic Circle both worship it and fear it at the same time. They've even given it a name. Diamond dust. Okay, that's the diamond dust. And his cloth shatters, falls away, except for one piece. Hmm. Okay, so they divided the cloth among them, and that wasn't one of the black ones, right? Or no, it was. Okay, that that is one of the black ones. Okay, easily defeated one of them. Okay, yeah, now we gotta fight him. Great, you only got one fist. Oh boy. Okay, he's just taunting us with it. Here it is, you want it? But, okay, we got behind him. God damn. Okay, we're just fucking we're stunting on him. <laughs> Okay, snatched it from him. There we go. Yeah, come on. If you want to fight, come on. But you really shouldn't. Alright, yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. God. <gasps> yeah, what do you guys want? I mean, we know what they want. They want the gold cloth. But I mean, yeah, more specifically. I know what you mean. <laughs> We're just shadows. Shadows faithful to Ikisama. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so yeah, they want to take back over the earth. They want to take over the heavens. I see. I see. But okay, we got the right leg. We got one of the bracers. And okay, so he had like a childhood grudge against them. Because yeah, they were all so worried about him, but I don't know why they were worried about him. We never saw what, you know, would have made them worried about him. But uh, yeah, that he wants to rule the world. And okay, yep, chain around you as well. Shing, shing, shing. Rip it to pieces. Got it. Okay, this is going very quickly. I like this. Okay, and they're trying to say, we're the ones responsible for what happened to Iki. How so? Like, he literally picked his own place, too, so. But okay, yep, coming out from the water. So cool. Mm hmm. Just do it, just do it. Okay. Go out fighting, you son of a bitch. Just so casual. <laughs> and falls. Flat on his face. And yeah, they're all so weak. But yeah, okay, it's because we're just merely his shadows. Okay. Uh, okay, so he's saying, like, why are you weak? Because we're his shadows. But he has four powerful black saints. And then he goes, oh, God, that means we're going to have to fight. I mean, there weren't we already, but I get it. Okay. Okay, so they said it was split into five pieces, but no, it was split into five pieces and then an extra four pieces as well. So it was split into nine pieces. And yeah, he's saying like, oh, once I have both the gauntlets and boots, I'll be able to assemble the gold cloth. But you had them all and then you separated them, but right, like, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. If having the gold cloth would be like, okay, but well now I can do anything, why didn't you just do that from the start? It seems like if you're wearing the gold cloth, it wasn't even going to be enough, so you had to get away first, but I don't know. Maybe, you know, it's the whole thing of like, well, if I just put it on right now, I might not be good with it, but I don't know. Still, feels like a bit of a stretch. 
But now I have also another nine chapters to get through, and uh, this video is probably already quite long. So, uh, you know, this is kind of the end of the tournament part, and then now we're going into another kind of part of this arc. So I do think this is where this one will end here, as we go on to face Iki and the four black, you know, the better ones, the four uh, better black saints uh, that don't seem to be shadows, but are just actual black saints. Uh, but yeah. I'm excited for that. I'm enjoying this a lot more, so much more, infinitely more than I was when I was reading the Viz version. Thank fucking God we ain't reading that version anymore. Uh, this is much, much, much better. So much more on board. Very glad we're doing this. And these chapters are long as hell, very monthly, monthly ass chapters. It was 10 chapters, but this video is probably like three hours. <laughs> Maybe not that long, but. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know. I feel like I'll have more to say after this, like, whole first saga actually concludes. Like, once we get to the end of this stuff with Iki as well, I'll have a little bit more to say. But I do like how, like, you know, we just fought all four of those, uh, you know, uh, the Black Saints, or the Shadows, I guess I should say, uh, in, like, quick succession, getting to see everybody's moves again. I kind of weren't expecting these guys to be super big characters. I don't know why I wasn't, but, yeah, I guess they are all going to be pretty big characters going forward uh well the ones that aren't like you know fucking like brain dead uh but <laughs> yeah we're gonna have a, a selection of them that are gonna keep going forward with us uh and yeah i i like uh, our main character a lot more now much more invested in him uh and, and yeah they're just giving me a cast of characters that i care about now so yeah i'll see you guys for the next one till then get the fuck out of here